my Taurus. I'm just going to adjust this just a little bit. Okay, darlings. Um, something a little bit different. This is your whatever reading for the golden oldies. This this is number two. I've done one for um, Capricorn. Um, and this is now your turn. So, golden oldies, welcome. I'm not putting an age limit to this because some people get to that point of whatever long before they get to be a golden oldie and i'm really aware of that but it, this is kind of like for those people that have got to the golden oldie point where they've gone whatever because they really don't give a shit anymore and i know i shouldn't be swearing at the beginning of the reading but do you know what it's not made an ounce of difference to my algorithm so whatever see what i mean golden oldie um i'm not going to use derogatory terms golden oldie is what it is thank you for tammy that suggested this i don't know i think tammy might be a gemini actually but um yeah so just be aware that this is brand new we don't know how it's going to pan out um it it's intended for the older person but if you already feel that you're there that you are already saying to the majority of things whatever and you have jumped out of parenthood into grandparenthood then i would say that you're on your way might be relevant to you so my lovelies what we've got here is the whatever so the what is across the top the ever ever is across the bottom energy card happiness card and then we'll pull some from the angels and ancestors so what happened how it happened the action you took the truth of the matter and then we've got the empathy now that whether that's you being empathetic to a situation or somebody else there is empathy that is needed or required in every reading so victory so what did you take from this what did you come out feeling better about and then we've got the effect it has caused on your life and the resolution that's where we are so let's get on with the reading you have number 20 break it down to a two feast of plenty choices and their consequences and i always pull people's eye straight to the two of a thames that are sticking out of this crystal because that does indicate there's a conflict of interest either around you or within you you've got beautiful honeybee sitting on the crystal that indicates there's something very spiritual going on and also you've got this gorgeous little crystal baby crystal growing out of the mummy or daddy crystal or whatever big sister crystal um and i have to say that i think that you're there's also, I don't know if you can see them down the bottom, there's also uh, wine grapes as well, like vine grapes. Um, clouded judgment is what I just heard. Your judgment has been clouded over some choice that you've made and there has been consequences as a result of that. So let's get on with the reading and see if we can throw some more light onto it. We have the four of pentacles coming in for you. Um, this is holding on to some. It could be that you're holding on to some money, saving for something, saving for a rainy day. Uh, but there are people at the door wanting a bit more of you. Now, I'm going to say that this is highly emotive for you. And it could be that you are holding on to some emotion. And not telling people quite how it is. So whatever it is that you're holding on to kind of understand that person at the door is insignificant they're not through your door they're not across your threshold you don't have to sulk or skulk away and hide your pennies um this is all to do with your career your home life your finances but it's also it's, and that's very emotive in itself so it could be that you've decided that person has you've spent enough time on that person you've spent enough emotion around the situation and now you're holding on and rightly so to some of that for yourself so the how how did this happen there seemed to be 
a new beginning uh, with the Ace of Thames and part of that new beginning would be to draw down energy from the universe to give you the courage and the strength to cut away what no longer serves you and watch your seeds grow. I'm kind of getting that that was okay until you started to cut away what no longer served you. Um, and it could be that this person was no longer serving you and you cut them away. You, I'm, I'm not saying that you did this nastily. It's probably that you just didn't have anything else to do with them. That you, you know, you didn't answer the phone or maybe you even blocked them but they weren't serving you so part of this new beginning was to cut away what, anything that wasn't serving you but there is definitely a person around you that wasn't deserving of being around you because of how they were draining you an energy vampire if you will um, but they were also draining you financially physically you know it was everything absolutely everything so just know Taurus that those two cards are very significant to you and you know i'm kind of getting this has happened uh with capricorn their first first two cards i was kind of teetering on the brink has it happened does it not happen but i'm i'm kind of getting that this has happened so the action that you took you got the three of pentacles this is my collaboration card this is coming together with somebody older or younger in a collaboration this is hearing um stuff out of a young person's mouth who has and it really does make you feel that you have got an old soul around you even though they're a young person um you've got an, an older person maybe a partner maybe a friend who and it could be you even who comes out with these wonderful little ditties you know sort of like what was my nan's favourite one? I can't even remember now. Sick and tired. Or Barney's Ball. Buggered was one of her favourite ones. Sick and tired. Sick and tired. Um, and one day, when I was fighting for my son, I sat down and I actually felt sick and tired at the same time. And it was the first time I'd ever felt that. And I went, that's what she means. That is, a, And this is the feeling I'm getting from you. You suddenly go, that's what that means. Yes, I've got it. I finally got the meaning of that. So our next card is the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter was, with the eight of chalices, there was some procrastination going on. You weren't quite sure if it's what you wanted, where you were going with this. Um, and you kind of stalemated. You've got the eight of chalices behind you in the upright. Everybody had your back over this. Everybody said to you, yes, but you got to a fork in the road and you didn't know which way to turn. Let me tell you, if you had choices, you didn't have your answer. Wait a bit longer. Wait a bit longer because the answer will come to you. It will. Because the eights for me are all about communication. And sometimes we ask for something, we do something in such a hurry that we forget to wait for the energy to catch us up. So, my darling, empathy. Look at this slow moving energy with the Knight of Pentacles. This could be you right under the Four of Pentacles. You are moving in the right direction. You can see the future in sight. You've got a giant sized pentacle. You've made investments wisely. And now you're moving towards that career, that home life that you want. And maybe work life balance as well. But this energy comes in and tells me that it's been slow moving. It's been slow coming to you. Um, you've got one, two, three pentacle cards. Right and proper because you are an earth sign. But this slow movement has had you kind of like overthinking some situations. Is that the answer? Is that not the answer? Do not toss a coin or roll the dice. Wait. Wait for the answer to be presented to you. Because neither of those, any of those choices that you have got are not the answer. Because if they were... 
one of them would snap out and you would have no qualms about doing it and you're not there so my darlings victory what you've taken away from this five of chalices you knew something had been spilt you knew something had spoiled or spoiled i should say so here you are in the bleak midwinter letting go finally of what is not serving you what has gone on before recognizing that you've got these beautiful chalices in that basket waiting for you to make this decision finally to watch whatever it is just seep into the ground and de be dissipated i'm getting that that has been a bit of a big lesson for you that you can let go of things and it's okay to do that it's not about the other person it's about what it is that you have the time for what it is that you are willing to get caught up in if you're not willing for any of that if you don't want the he said she said if you don't want the person knocking at the door if you are really like really fucking done that's what this car and you've taken away from this this experience that it was okay to do that for yourself it was okay for you to just understand that letting things go doesn't mean destroying your own soul it means actually filling that well up that you've had drained previously Taurus this do you know what it's a strange reading because I do get the feeling that you've got this inner conflict you're depleted I'm getting all of that stuff but spiritually speaking I think there has been a bit of a shift for you and the shift is happening here with the star card where you suddenly realize that healing isn't the one and done healing isn't going to see joe blogs down the street for a bit of reiki or going to a spiritual church for a bit of spiritual healing it's all of you physical mental emotional spiritual sensual the whole lot needs to be looked at and here's this fairy beckoning you into the eternal waters of healing because we may feel we're healed from a situation till it rears its head again but if we are continually cleansing and clearing out of the way what no longer serves us we are making room for the new we are making room for that star to grow bigger and brighter and grant us the wishes and the manifestations that we may have had in place for a very long time so the resolution in comes the king of wands could be an energy around you aries leo and sag it could be part of your birth chart taurus let me tell you passion and desire projects plans people this king has done the fucking lot he's been it seen it and done it you as um an earth sign very often you're going to be a ceo a director a manager that kind of thing this guy heads up the project you are the type of guy that can bring in the um contracts you can bring in the agreements you can work with other companies you make wise investments this guy understands how to run a project how to put a plan together he's got this magic wand and he's got the midas touch let me tell you and he says to you look if you've got this passion if you've got this desire no matter how old you are Put it into action and see the magic happening. See the magic. Stop having this inner conflict about what I don't care if you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 100. We have just had a massive experience that our Queen of the United Kingdom worked up until two days before she died. She was working on the Tuesday. She shook hands with the new Prime Minister on the Tuesday welcomed in her 15th prime minister and on the thursday afternoon she passed away she worked with a work ethic like nobody else ever had or has ever seen before and this is what it's trying to tell you it is okay 
for you to still reach for those goals. It's okay for you to still reach for what it is that you want out of love. You've got a crystal ball there, for Christ's sake. It is telling you, look at the future. And it's no good at 60 looking at the future going, oh, I'm retiring in five years, ten years, whatever. I'm not retiring. I'm never retired. I've decided I'm not retired. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't ever want to feel old. And if that means I've got to sleep 12, 14 hours a night so that I can function 12, 14 hours during the day, that's what I'm going to do. Exactly that. So healing, allowing your wish fulfillments to come in and then seeing what it is out of projects and plans that you still have the energy to do. Because that's what he is. He's energetic. You know, he has got... Um, there is a certain arrogance around fire, fire signs. There is. Um, the king of wands is going to be Aries, Leo or Sag. And I have to say, the most fun-loving one out of the three of those is Sagittarius. The other two, Leo, they can be fun-loving. They, they also can make magic or can make mischief. Um, but they are really good business people. They chomp at the bit at projects and plans. It's not that they're just like yourself where you can do the wise investments, where you can bring the, um, the contracts in, you can bring the quotes home, all of that sort of stuff. You go, I'm kind of guessing that if you've got one of these in your chart, you've got both going on and rightly so, rightly so. But Aries, if you've got Aries in your chart, they're pretty fucking arrogant Aries, but oh my God, they're successful. Is they don't give a shit. They don't give a rat's ass about anything. They wouldn't let that choice, they would have taken both choices. They wouldn't have let but one choice get away. They would have grabbed both choices. But you've had a little bit of like, oh, do I want to go there? Mmm. Well. There's definitely a lot of energy around these two cards, definitely. Now, the star card is a 17, break it down, it is an 8, it's another communication card. And this is communicating with yourself about what it is that you need to do, what the action that you need to take in order for you. And it's right under your action, is it under your action card? Yeah, it is. Right under your action card. So the action that they're saying to do, yes, collaboration is fucking brilliant. But you need to do some healing. And we're not talking about, oh, I've just broken up with my girlfriend. I need to heal from that. I've got a broken heart. We're talking about maybe you had some incidents uh, way back when that you haven't de dealt with. And you've just buried them. And they're coming back. to As you're getting older, they'll come back and they'll haunt you. They really will. But there's this investment that you want to make. And I'm getting that you started it. And then you had to stop because you didn't know what to do. And he's saying, come on, I'm done with you procrastinating. I'm done. I'm waving this magic wand for you to clear the debris and the shit out of the way. It's, it's going. It's gone. What was I just saying? Oh, my goodness. Number 25 is seven. Blessings, options and choices. Release the dark wound. Let love live this is your happiness why let me ask you why do you think that you need to keep living with a dark wound why you keep picking at the scab and reopening it you've got to let love live darlings and you the way you do that is you start loving you first you put you first you put in healthy boundaries you put in healthy um, respect, self-respect first of all and healthy respect for others um, and what that does it builds this boundary around you that you are not going to take bollocks and bullshit from anybody anymore but it doesn't mean that you've got to put this crusty exterior that other people need to pick at because they don't want to do that if you've got somebody honestly coming towards you that is offering you new love you need to be able to face them in all honesty that all the wounds are now healed. Oh, let's get some angels and ancestors for you. I'm so pleased that came out at the end. 
because I did get the essence that there is something that's been unhealed and it is a deep wound and you need to start dealing with that because you really do even if it's not the love of somebody else and it is self-love um, it is better to live in love and joy than it is in regret and salute life. Come on angels and ancestors, can I have some cards for Taurus, the golden oldies please? Okay, so that was first, then those, and then those. So, see ya. See beyond the current situation, my darlings. What was we just saying? Um, you do need to move beyond that. Protection, guardian. Drop your shields. Protection. Do you know, a lot of people get muddled up. They think they can reject somebody because they want to protect themselves. But I have to say, um, protection has got nothing to do with rejection. It really hasn't. Star Ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. What is your gut telling you? Communication again. Father Sky, trust in the unknown. If it can't be seen, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Eagle, see from a higher perspective. Allow yourself to see from all angles. High Priest, intend and create. He is also a traditionalist. He traditionally looks at things and that's okay to do that. Winter, take care of your needs. Couldn't be any clearer than that, could it? Taurus, wherever you are in the world, I hope you enjoy this reading. I hope it's been of some help and please be safe. Bye for now.